All right, hi there. Um, it's Friday after school, so I hope I hope you guys appreciate this because I'm staying late on Friday to do it. Um, I'm doing a, a sinusoidal regression problem. So this is what the government has said is kind of the goal for the sinusoidal section. They want you to be able to take what you know about sinusoidal and actually solve a real-world problem with it. Um, now, to do that, you're going to have to have a lot of calculator usage. So I've got the calculator up here to show you how to do that. Um, a lot of the time you're going to be given an equation. Um, a lot of the time you're going to be given a table. So it depends. Here we're given a table. Uh, sometimes it'll be given an equation. It says that this table gives you the hours of daylight in Regina. Um, the hours of daylight are calculated as the time between sunrise and sunset each day. So we've got the day of the year and the hours of daylight. And you want to put those in your calculator in your lists. Now the question is, which one goes in the X and which one goes in the Y? And that's important. Okay? Um, X is always going to be the one that you're changing and Y is the responding variable. So here, what, the one that we're looking at responding, our, our variable that reacts is the hours of sunlight. The one that we're kind of uh, changing is the, the, depending on the day of the year we get this much sunlight. So the sunlight is the one that we're looking at for responding. So this one, hours of daylight, should go in Y and this one should go in X, the day of the year. So go into your calculator, which I don't have a smart board, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, go into edit and in L1 you want to put in your X variable, okay? And then in L2 you want to put in your Y variable. So I'll just put that in the middle here. Uh, you can see I put my X variables on the left side, I put my Y variables on the right side. Um, this is on the website by the way, you can download this tutorial sheet if you can't see what I'm doing here. Uh, now from there it says A, determine the equation of the sinusoidal regression function. How do you do that? Well all your regressions where basically the calculator takes the data and it makes an approximation, a line of best fit for this data. And what you want to do is you want to go to stat, go over to calc, and go down to the last one which is number 10, or it's actually number C, and it says sine reg. That'll do a sinusoidal regression on this data. Okay? The calculator will take that and it'll put it as best it can into a formula. So the formula for part A, and this is rounding off to the nearest hundredth, is y equals 4.17 sine, this is my A value, right? My B value is 0.01718, round it up, x. My C value is minus 1.45. And then my D value on the end is 12.49. That's my midline. Okay? Uh, I wouldn't recommend rounding these off. Directly throw them into Y equals and graph it. So go over to Y equals and we're going to graph this sinusoidal regression equation. But you don't need to round. A nice trick you can use is you can go VARS, go down to statistics, and go over to regression equation, reg EQ hit enter, and it actually copy and pastes the regression equation into Y1. Okay. Once you're going to do that, you're going to want to mess with your window because my window here, I've already set up for this question, or I have, I have. Um, you want to change your window so that you're actually going to be able to see this graph because a lot of the time you won't see a thing. Do you see here how for my X variable, it days of the year, it goes from roughly 15 to 288. I know there's 365 days in a year. So I chose to go from day 0 to day 365, and I made my scale 50. So each tick on my graph is 50. Uh, for the vertical, you can see that the lowest is 8.5 and the highest is 17. So I went from 7 to 18. You want to go a little bit beyond the range each way. okay? And I made my Y scale 2. So now if I hit graph, you see that one curve like this. Okay. So there's my graph for the sunlight over 365 days of the year. It's saying this is sinusoidal. This looks more like a parabola right now, but you can imagine that this is only for one year, right? Year after year, you're going to get hump and then hump and then hump and then hump. There'll be more and more humps, right, for each year uh, if you were to look at a longer period. So from there, it wants me to determine the range between the maximum and minimum hours of daylight in Regina. Well, I showed you guys how to do this. Um, a maximum value, okay, on the graph, 
You can go second trace max and second trace minimum, but there's a faster way to do it. Your maximum is your midline, which we cut down the middle, plus the amplitude. So my maximum here is going to be my midline plus the amplitude, because that's halfway, and then up. So add the amplitude. That comes out to... Uh, let me grab a calculator to see. I don't have my calculator handy right there, so I'll just use this one. Uh, so my maximum value is... Sixteen point six six. That's the highest value on the graph. And my min is going to be the midline minus the amplitude. This will work for all sinusoidals. So now I'm going to go twelve point four nine minus four point one seven. Oh boy, twelve minus four point one seven. Eight point three two. So I've got my maximum and my minimums. You could have done that with second trace maximum. Um, where it says which day has the most hours of daylight, I'll just show you how you can do that. Uh, technically, we want to know which X goes with this Y, basically. So here's what you do. You go to your graph. We want that point right at the top there. That's the highest point. So go second trace down to maximum. Okay. Go left bound. So see where it says left bound, I'm going to the left of the point, hit enter. Go over to the right of the point. Miss Donnelly, line one, Miss Donnelly, line one. Hit enter again, enter one more time. It'll tell me eventually. Okay, so the maximum point is at 170.91 and 16.65. So to answer question uh, C, which day has the most hours of, of daylight, I'm going to erase this, I'm running out of room, so you can write those two down. Uh, the day that has the most hours of daylight is, well, this ordered pair here is 170.91 comma 16.66. So day 170, basically. Way almost at sunset, right? Well, almost the next day. So basically day 170 or day 171. I don't know which one you would pick. Uh, I don't think they'd be as cruel in a multiple choice to make it both those two as possibly. So I guess day 170 has the most hours of daylight. Uh, D, determine the hours of daylight in Regina on day 30. No problem. We want to go to where X is 30 and see what the hours of daylight are on the Y axis. To do that, go second function trace, which takes you to the calculate menu. Go down to intersect, which is, or sorry, go to value, which is number one. And what that does is you can put in an X value and it'll give you the Y value. So we're gonna put in 30 for day 30, and it's gonna give us the Y value, which would be the hours of sunlight. So put in X equals 30, hit enter, and it tells me that on day 30, there are 9.17 hours of sunlight. So for D on day 30, which would be my X value, there are 9.17 hours of sunlight, okay? Last one, determine which days of the year have about 15 hours of daylight. For this, this is the Y value. The daylight's on the Y. So the, the calculator doesn't have a function like this where you can just put in a Y value and it gives you an X value. So you gotta do a bit more work. Uh, for this, you're gonna have to go to Y equals. Go into Y2 and graph 15. It'll put a 15, a line across right at 15. So hit graph. This line represents 15 hours all the way across. You can see that there's gonna be two days in the year that have about 15 hours of daylight. So we need to find those two intersection points here and here. You go to calculate, down to intersect, number five, and find those two points. You gotta go left bound, first curve, enter, second curve, enter. Okay, so we found the second point. Uh, one of the days is day 223. And the other one, well, you just cursor over now. So you gotta go back and do it again. Go trace down to intersect. Go to the left. Gotta keep cursoring over. Okay, cursor over to around that spot. Hit enter, enter, enter again. And the other point 
is day 118, there are 15 hours of daylight. Okay? So we've gone through all these, we've answered the questions. Again, um, most of them are going to be just like this. If you can do a question like this, you can do most of them. They won't ask you much else. So again, take your data, throw it in L1 and L2, but be really careful to determine which one's the X and the Y variable. Do a regression on it. In this case, it was a sinusoidal. Told us in the question. So do a sinusoidal regression. It told us an A sinusoidal. Copy that into Y equals and graph it. And then use things like trace, value, or intersect to answer your questions. Okay? Uh, I hope that helped. And uh, I will uh, make another tutorial video for the next unit. So I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.